How do you adjust a pressure reducing valve? Let me show you. Before we do that, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. All right, so if you don't know anything about reducing valves, I'm going to give you some information right now. This is a model B38, right? And this model right here, it says B38 has half inch MPT and is factory set for 12 PSI. Adjustable range is 10 to 25. And the way to adjust this, I'm gonna show you that as well. All right, so we're gonna adjust this and we're gonna increase the pressure a little bit to get over 12. I want at least 20, so I'm gonna adjust it so we can get 20 PSI. How do we do that? So it says, we're gonna adjust and we're gonna do it by loosening the jan nut on top of the reducing valve and turning the slotted adjusting screw. Turn the screw clockwise to increase the set pressure, turn it counterclockwise to lower the pressure. So you can see there's a diagram that says the adjusting screw is on top and the jam nut is right below it, okay? So loosen the jam nut, and then we're gonna turn this screw clockwise, okay? Let's do that and see if it has any effect on the pressure gauge we've got here. All right, so to adjust, we're gonna loosen up the jam nut first, okay? And once that jam nut is nice and loose, then we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver. Before we do that, I'm gonna look at the pressure. Looks like it's almost zero, right? Now, we're gonna take this. We're gonna run it in. And we should see the pressure increase. I mean, just from that. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's awesome, see how that works there? So, let's uh, screw it in a little more. All right. Let's see what we got. We got 20 PSI or more. That's awesome. Now that's the pressure we need right there. That is good. Okay. So, I mean, that's almost the pressure we need for this geo system. But this is better than nothing. And this will give us a way for them to still have cooling in the house until we figure out where the leak is and try to fix it. All right. Perfect. Tighten that back. I put the link in the description for the Bell & Gossett reducing valve that I was adjusting. So if you want more information about Bell & Gossett products, go check out the website in the description. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know if you did in the comments. And if you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and where you're from. I'd love to know who my viewers are and where you are all from. Thank you for watching today's video. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.